Matt Sortz, Senior Editor with Expedition Portal and Illumine Journal, and this is Best of Breed Soft Sided Coolers. I'm Paul May, founder of Equipped Expedition Outfitters. I started the company 15 years ago in an effort to revolutionize what we consider as vehicle adventure travel in the United States. If you're ready to get out and have a good time and explore our wonderful world, well, we're here to, to make that happen for you. So check us out at equippedone.com. We hope to hear from you soon. This is the Yeti Hopper Backflip 24, and as the name would imply, it's a 24 quart soft sided cooler. This, this cooler's got a lot of things that I like about it, uh, starting with this Hydrolock zipper. It's a waterproof zipper. And out of all of the coolers that we tested for this particular gear test, uh, this, this has my favorite opening. The fact that the top flips back completely and the top stays wide open makes it really easy to load up all of your stuff inside. This cooler's got a fairly comfortable carrying system. It's got nice big padded shoulder straps, a sternum strap, and it also has a removable waist belt. Uh, this is one of the only coolers in our test that had a waist belt. Um, and although it has a waist belt, it doesn't have load lifter shops on the shoulder, so it's still not ideal for carrying things long distances. Better for short trips from your car to camp uh, or maybe from your car to the beach if you're going out for a day. This cooler has also got some grab handles that make it easier to carry it around without the shoulder straps and it's got some daisy chains for attaching gear to the front and sides. This retails for $300. Right here is the Pelican Day Venture backpack. Uh, this is one of the more unique products in our test here. It's one of the slimmest and lightest weight items that we've got. It's 19.4 quarts and it's split between two compartments. So we have a waterproof zipper on the bottom. And this is the insulated portion of this cooler. And then we have an upper compartment that's got a dry bag style roll top closure right there. Now you can put things in the top as well, but because of the closure, it's not quite as well insulated. We've got a front pocket on the outside, which is great for things like keys or a phone. Although it is definitely not waterproof, I learned that the hard way. So be cautious with what you put in there. We've got a couple exterior handles for assisting with carrying. And we've got a comfortable shoulder strap system with some nice padding. Um, this pack also has a sternum strap, but it does not have a waist belt. So like the other ones, it's good for short distance carrying, but I wouldn't carry it very far. The Pelican Day Venture backpack retails for $250. Right here is the Canyon Coolers Nomad Go. This is one of the biggest, chunkiest coolers in our lineup, and it's really well insulated. It holds ice for multiple days, no problem. This is a 21 quart capacity cooler. It's got two compartments, the main insulated compartment, and then it's also got a waterproof exterior compartment that can hold things like car keys or a phone or anything else that you might want to keep dry. Canyon Coolers has a no-hassle lifetime warranty on their hard-sided coolers. However, their soft-sided coolers get a 66-week warranty if you have any issues with them. As I mentioned, the insulation in this cooler is excellent, but it is a little bit difficult to load because of how much insulation is in the lid area. They suggest propping this open with a water bottle to make that easier. Canyon Coolers Nomad Go retails for $230. This is the Angle HD20 22 quart soft sided cooler. Angle, you know, they make fridges. Uh, they also make hard sided coolers, but this is one of their soft sided offerings. This is not a backpack style cooler. This is a shoulder bag tote style cooler. And it comes with a shoulder strap that's adjustable. It also has these fabric carrying handles right here. 
that Velcro together with a nice neoprene uh, guard to make com carrying it more comfortable. You can remove this strap um, or adjust it depending on where you want it to attach. The cooler itself has two compartments like most of these. It's got the main insulated compartment right here and then it's also got a front compartment for things like keys or a wallet. So the size of the angle was one of my favorites uh, for road tripping. Uh, one to two day trips, it was great for one or two, two people as far as the volume was concerned. And the insulation qualities of this cooler were also excellent. It, it holds ice and keeps things cold for multiple days, no problem. This cooler does have one unique feature. Uh, it's got this vacuum valve down here. And uh, basically the idea is you can suck out excess air with a vacuum to increase the thermal efficiency of the insulation. However, to be honest, finding a vacuum and doing this was something I just never really was compelled to do. So it's debatable how useful that feature is, although I wouldn't doubt that it would actually improve the thermal efficiency of this cooler. The Angle HD20 cooler retails for $200. This is the Hydro Flask Day Escape cooler. It's a backpack style cooler. It's got comfortable shoulder straps with the sternum strap. No waist belt on this one. It has this true zip waterproof zipper, which is kind of like a Ziploc bag. And out of all of the waterproof zippers in our test, this was one of the easiest to open and close. This is gonna be one of the lighter weight coolers in our test and that also has to do with the amount of insulation it has. It's probably one of the least insulated. So it really is best as a single day use item, keeping things cold for maybe 12 hours. Certainly could keep items colder longer than that, but I wouldn't count on much more than 12 hours. The Hydro Flask Day Escape Pack has this interesting dry bag system. These are optional, but you can buy these in a couple different sizes and they attach to the front of the cooler with this Molly style webbing attachment point right here. The Hydro Flask Day Escape Cooler is a 21.13 quart volume and it retails for $200. Right here is the Orca Walker Tote. I couldn't nail down an exact volume for this, but it's approximately 20 quarts. And this was one of my favorite coolers in the bunch as far as the, the finished product. It just looks nice. It's got this kind of burlap material outer finish um, that looks nice too. So if, if you want something that's going to photograph well, this might be a good choice. This has two compartments. It's got the main insulated compartment with a waterproof zipper. And it's also got this front waterproof compartment for keys or a wallet or a phone. The Walker Tote has some nice little details. It's got these little whale shaped zipper poles on it and this nice contrasting stitching. And it's also got this unique handle that has magnets built into it. It makes for actually a really comfortable carrying solution if you're carrying it in your hand when you've got the cooler completely full. I really like these tote style coolers for road trips, one and two day trips where you're just getting food in and out and you don't really need to carry the cooler very far. The Orca Walker Tote retails for $200. So right here is the Ice Mule Traveler. This was a really interesting cooler. I love this, but it also drove me crazy. And here's why. The zipper broke. <laughs> so I'm sure that this would be covered under warranty, but as far as a functional zipper, this was one of the most difficult to operate in the group. It also has these weird proprietary plastic pieces of hardware, which I might be worried about them breaking and having a difficult time finding replacements for them. Like the angle, this ice mule has a valve to release air or put air into the insulation layer. This can add to the thermal efficiency of the cooler and ice mule says that that actually makes this cooler um, buoyant. So if it falls into the water, it will float. This cooler has a really interesting harness carrying system, which looks strange and complex but it was actually the most comfortable carrying system out of all of the coolers that I tested. Uh, it places the cooler right against your lower back. Um, 
And as long as you're not running, it, it, it's very comfortable and it stays put right against your sacrum. The other thing that I really liked about the Traveler was the lid system, which they call the bowhead system. It's got an internal metal frame, which actually holds it in the open position for loading. It made it much easier to fill it up with things. So the Ice Mule Traveler is a 26.4 quart cooler and it retails for $160.